हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी स्टडी पेपर फर्स्ट चैप्टर पावर सप्लाई फर्स्ट वी नो दैट व्हाट इज अ पावर सप्लाई पावर सप्लाई इज यूज्ड टू सप्लाई ए सफिशिएंट और रिक्वायर्ड पावर टू द एप्लीकेशंस फ्रॉम ए प्राइमरी सोर्स द प्राइमरी सोर्स मे बी ए एसी मेन सप्लाई और बैटरी मोस्ट ऑफ electronic equipments needs the dc that is regulated and constant power which is given by this power supply first we draw the block diagram of power supply in block diagram of power supply or construction of power supply it consist of a transformer a rectifier filter and voltage regulator now we draw the block diagram of power supply the input to a power supply is AC mains supply that is two thirty volt fifty hertz AC, which is given to a primary of transformer the secondary voltage of this transformer is applied to the input to a rectifier circuit then the output of this rectifier is applied to filter and the output of filter circuit is applied to voltage regulator and the output of this voltage regulator is a regulated dc output voltage now we explain this block diagram the 230 volt ac that is bidirectional ac input positive as well as negative going waveform this 230 volt ac supply is applied to the transformer the transformer is used to supply this required amount of power this from this ac mains that is transformer either step up the voltage or step down the voltage then this required amount of power is applied to the rectifier circuit rectifier circuit is a circuit which converts ac into dc that is alternating quantity into direct quantity alternating that is bidirectional and direct that is unidirectional quantity the quantities may be voltage or current this rectifiers unidirectional output is again applied to the filter because as the rectifier output is unidirectional but it is not steady it has some fluctuations and to remove these fluctuations the filter circuit is used the filter circuit is used to remove the unwanted ac components from the rectifier circuit and it removes the fluctuations from the rectifier and the output waveform of filter circuit is shown as this it has some fluctuations it is not steady we want to steady and constant dc output therefore the filter output circuit is given to the voltage regulator voltage regulator circuits are used to maintain steady and dc 
constant DC output. This is all about block diagram of power supply. First, transformer is used to supply a required amount of power from the AC mains. Then transformer output is given to the rectifier. A rectifier converts AC into DC that is unidirectional. Then this unidirectional voltage is applied to the filter. Filter is used for smoothing out the AC variations from the rectifier output. The rectifier's output has some fluctuations to make that fluctuations constant the voltage regulator circuit is used and at the output of voltage regulator we get a steady and constant DC output voltage. Now we study the types of a rectifier as earlier we study the rectifier converts alternating quantity into direct quantity that is AC into DC. In types of rectifier there is first type is half wave rectifier. Second is full wave rectifier. And third is bridge rectifier. First we study the first type that is half wave rectifier. In case of half wave rectifier there is a single diode and transformer and load resistor are in. We draw first the circuit diagram of half wave rectifier. This is the primary of a transformer which is given to AC voltage that is 230 volt 50 hertz. Then the secondary of transformer is applied to a diode D. The diode D is connected in series with a load resistor RL, RL that is load resistor across, we, across which we get a DC output. Diode D. This is the circuit diagram of half wave rectifier, a transformer T. A diode D in series with load resistor RL, AC supply and DC across the load resistor RL. The end terminals of secondary of transformer T are named as end A and end B. Now we study the working of that half wave rectifier as the input is AC voltage. The AC voltage is shown by a waveform that is positive half cycle and negative half cycle input voltage. This is the positive half cycle and negative half cycle. During the positive half cycle, end A becomes positive with respect to end B. This makes the diode D forward biased that is anode is positive and cathode is negative diode D becomes forward biased and this secondary voltage produces the current through this diode D and load resistor RA. Because of this at the output we get a voltage that is a positive waveform at the output voltage. That is during positive half cycle end A becomes positive with respect to end B. This makes the diode D forward biased. Diode D conducts current through it and load resistor RL. And therefore at the output we get a positive half cycle. Then next during the negative half cycle end A becomes negative with respect to end B. This makes diodes anode negative and cathode positive that is the diode is reverse biased 
and it does not conduct any current through it and at the output v does not get any voltage then again when we apply a next positive half cycle again for the next positive half cycle diode d becomes forward biased and we get the voltage at the output at the output we get a again positive half cycle this is the output waveform for half wave rectifier which is given by a diode d for negative half cycle v does not get any voltage at the output that is the half wave rectifier conducts only for positive half cycles that is the half wave rectifier gives the pulsating output pulsating output that is it gives the output only for the positive half cycles it is a unidirectional output but not a perfect dc output voltage this is the working of half wave rectifier the dc output across the rl is measured by a externally connected dc voltmeter across the load resistor rl and that dc voltage is known as average voltage which is named as vdc average voltage the average voltage is nothing but a dc output voltage which is calibrated by a voltmeter connected across this load resistor rl the average voltage vdc is given by 0.318 vm where vm is the peak value peak value is the maximum value of a alternating quantity the vdc is again given by a vm by pi that is average voltage is given by 0.318 vm or vm by pi then second value of this half wave rectifier is current rating of diode current rating of diode in case of half wave rectifier a single diode d is used the current rating of diode is the maximum current that the diode should be handle and it is given by idc current rating of diode and idc is given by vdc by rl vdc is, is the average voltage and rl is the load resistance the value of load resistance current rating maximum current that the diode can be handle and third value is the peak inverse value which is named as piv peak inverse value peak inverse value is a value during the negative half cycle diode d is reverse biased and a, it does not conduct any current through it therefore all secondary voltage appears across this diode and that reverse current the diode should be withstand and that reverse current is known as peak inverse voltage during the negative half cycle diode is reverse biased it does not conduct all secondary voltage appears across this diode and this reverse voltage is known as peak inverse voltage in case of half wave rectifier piv is equal to vm vm is the peak value this is the all values of half wave rectifier average voltage vdc current rating idc peak inverse value piv this is all about a half wave rectifier again we repeat i repeat the working of half wave rectifier during positive half cycle end a becomes positive with respect to end b diode d forward bias current conducts through diode d and load resistor rl at the output we get a positive half cycle during negative half cycle end a becomes negative with respect to end b diode d reverse biased it does not conduct current through it at the output we does not get any output voltage 
again for positive half cycle we get a positive voltage that is the half wire rectifier gives us a pulsating dc output next lecture we study about full wave rectifier